Okay, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, but it's worth looking into. Uh, for some weird reason, the Arokan Emissary Mission, or the Derelict Arokan Emissary Mission, has returned to the star chart. I don't go to the Derelict that often, so that could have been there for a long time. Does that mean that the Emissary boss battle from Nightwave Series 2 is a permanent fixture? Because that would be kind of good. I may have mentioned this in the past and completely forgotten about it, but I need to go there. It actually has a blueprint for this in the marketplace for two and a half thousand. I hope this is reusable, because I'm only buying one. They never used to be reusable, but they did make them reusable, as long as you have one. Hence, I have five of some, and only one of the others. Ooh, please work. This would be great if this worked. Uh, under keys, derelict emissary. It is a reusable blueprint. Nav coordinates are needed for it, which are great. I kind of wish, though, that it used those nav coordinates rather than the other ones. Yes, it has given them a whole new use, but... Okay, that's an hour. Do I want to wait an hour? No, I do not. Am I going to wait an hour? Oh, yes, I am. Biggest problem I can see from this is because you need the derelict emissary key to do this, you're pretty much going to have to do, uh, do it solo or find a team before going in. But hey, I'm going to try it solo because I'm... Um, that's stupid. The reason I keep mentioning this is the fact that this is technically a boss battle. The derelict has a bot boss battle. Lefantis. So why would they have added another one here? It doesn't quite make sense for it to be here, but at the same time it kind of does. Because if you played any of Nightwave Season 2, you will know that, well, this is basically that silly torch battle, which, yeah, with him. So it's darker in here, and it looks much nicer. I'm hoping this isn't going to be really bad, because I just remember the whole dark side of that, where, well, you had to go for as long as you could to try and get a hold of whatever weapon it was and it was a nightmare was it the weapon he's got there or does that drop from him i really can't remember i don't need to scan you oh wait i can do damage to you that's not right yep one shot at him there you go thank you now, any enemy here that is glowing red is now invincible. I have really messed up with my choice of secondaries here. They're kind of inaccurate and they really don't do a great deal of damage against infested. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I colossally messed this up, but go to the big round room and... Ah, look, there he is. So, ah, I need to stay away from him. Head towards this. Take out this guy, who will drop a torch or a light. You, give me your light. And run as quickly as you can. That's the best way to put it. Only things inside of this ring will take damage. You can see, kind of... There you go. And he will only take a certain amount of damage before he will run away anyway. Oh, invincible. Rinse and repeat. As many times as it takes. You can see where the new one has spawned. Oh, no it isn't. He's healing. Oh no, he's healing. No. Just no. I forgot about the healing phase. How could I forget about the healing phase? 
it really is a very, very easy boss battle. It literally is just that rinse and repeat. But as I said many times and have probably cut out, uh, yeah, probably not a good idea to let that many enemies follow you in here because he will heal a lot if you leave too many enemies around, as you can see. He was down to, he basically just doubled his health almost, but this should hopefully be the last time I have to do this. Uh, where's the, ha, ah, that enemy was nowhere near that, thank you. I'm just going to take out everything and anything I come across along the way. And hopefully end you. Like so. As I said, it's an easy boss battle. And once he's dead, the lights come back on permanently and nothing is invincible anymore. It is the invincibility of the enemies that makes it a little bit of a pain. But upon finishing him off for the last time, the lights come on. Enemies can be taken out and they just kind of stopped spawning so bad example of trying to show them being non-invincible anymore he does of course drop the path assist blueprint not a bad little weapon I was hoping for a lot more mutagen samples which is one of the only reasons I went there I need mutagen mutagen samples really badly really really badly actually the rest of it not so much but hey it's the way of getting the weapon which is probably why that mission is still here which is weird because um, I'll put it a different way so you go here to get that weapon from Nightwave season 2 I'll just take on the Wolf of Saturn oh that's right you can't without a special item that you can only get from Nightwave so I'll just go to that oh well, at least that's coming back this week, so we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.